Alright guys, so this is the third video in our series, and this is for everything that occurs in a turn after combat. So the first thing that happens is the post-combat main phase, which I said in the first video is much like the pre-combat main phase. So next we'll talk about the pre-combat main phase, which is exactly the same as the post-combat main phase. So basically you can kind of copy and paste this into video number three. So, the first thing is, is that you can play land, and playing land does not use the stack, is uh, something to keep in mind. Um, you can play any spell type, so creatures, artifacts, enchantments, and uh, you can play instants, of course, and uh, this main phase is over after both people pass priority. So basically, when your first main phase comes up, you say, nothing main phase one, and they say, okay, then it's over. Then there's the end step. So the end step is anything that triggers at the beginning of the end step triggers, and then the active player gets priority. Um, and then that's it. So it's kind of like a place where it's your last chance to cast an instant on your opponent's turn, for example, that's where the end step is most commonly used. So for example, drawing at the end of their turn or whatever. Um, and that's basically the end step, it's very simple. Then the cleanup step occurs. Um, this is pretty non-interactive. The first thing that happens is, is that the active player discards cards if they're above their maximum hand size until they're at their maximum hand size. Then, damage marked on permanence is removed, and at the same time, this turn effects are over. Um, so if it says, like, your creature gets plus three plus one until end of turn, in the case of Titan Strength, this is where that plus three plus one stops. The important thing about this step is that nobody gains priority, so nothing can really happen on the cleanup step. In the comprehensive rules, they say if something were to happen, then basically you would get to play all the instants and whatever that you wanted if an ability triggered or something and then afterwards another cleanup step would occur and another one until things stop triggering and things stop dying until it can truly clean up the end of the turn um after this your turn is over and so is our video series if you found this video useful go ahead and subscribe my name is Luke, this has been MTG Degree, and I'll see you next video.